Hello everyone, welcome to Home Improvisation. Um, I guess now it's Home Improvisation colon Furniture Sandbox. Um, I think the last time I looked at this on my channel was way back in October or November. Uh, a lot has changed since then. I haven't really played it since then, but the final version is out. This is it. So I wanted to take a, a few minutes and just look at what's finished or like what's different. Um, and basically the main thing I found is that it's more of a game now. Uh, it's not really a sandbox yet until you unlock everything. Um, but okay, so you used to like start in this like entrance room that's not visible right now. Um, and then you could choose to go build furniture, or you could choose to go do these like challenges. I wonder if they got rid of the challenges because I cannot find them anywhere. But this is where you start now. You actually start in a room. Uh, you can go upstairs into like a loft area. Uh, and here's the part where it's more of a game. I can't go in here. You have to actually unlock the rooms. So right now this is all I have. I actually did a couple furnitures. I built this uh, table and then I put my vase on it. And then I built this lamp. It actually didn't turn out too poorly. Um, it stands up, which is good. Uh, I was actually shocked. Uh, so I did unlock this after building those two things. I can now go into my garage and then there's more furniture waiting for me. Uh, one cool thing that is new, if I go to rooms, uh, it goes into the sweet view of your house. I love this visual. Uh, so here's obviously where we started. I just unlocked this. Uh, somehow this door is going to lead here. I have no idea how I'm going to get to these. I didn't see any other doors, uh, but that'll all be for me to discover because I'm definitely going to be playing this game a lot now that it's more of a game and less of just a sandboxy type product. Here's the other part that's more of a game. I know I keep saying more of a game. Basically, like there's uh, progression now is what I mean by more of a game. Uh, instead of just having everything open to you, you have to actually progress and unlock things. So you have to unlock rooms. And if you go to catalog, uh, you have to actually unlock um, things to order. So I've done both of these. They gave these to me. They're unlocked. They gave me Fukuha gods in the other room and I have, what is that? Do, do hist. And here I, it's probably in the garage. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Do host. Okay. They don't have the umlaut in the catalog, but anyway, so I'm assuming once I build that, which is just like a sawhorse, then this will unlock. Um, and then there's a few things. Yeah. So a lot of furniture to build, and then I guess then it's sandboxy once you finish it. A couple other features: uh, the uh, Steam Workshop still here. Um, I still have my uh, uni uni bore that I made a, a very long time ago. Uh, you can access that in the shop. I guess if you just hit send, um, you just get it. I don't think you have to build it. Oh gosh, that's oh gosh, it's gonna be a mess. So yeah, the nice thing about Steam Workshop is it's pre-built. Um, it looks like you have to still paint it. I thought it used to come pre, like painted how I painted it. But anyway, uh, there's my Unibor from sometime last year. Uh, I haven't unlocked the paintbrush yet either. All I have is the mallet. So I don't have, uh, I assume they still have like the peg makers and stuff like that. Uh, but those unlock at some point. Uh, I would say one of my frustrations, can you unplug this? No, can you move it? Oh, you can turn it off. Oh my gosh, you can, that's cool. Okay, love that sign. Uh, I'm frustrated. Not frustrated, but the only thing I'm not enjoying yet uh, is that they don't tell you how to unlock rooms. So I don't know if I build, like to unlock the next room, do I just build? Or do I have to build in a specific room? I assume I just build. Um, whether I build this or the Fakuhua God, I don't know, but it's really not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I don't see a door here. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of the basic game right now. Um, otherwise it's the same, same old home improv, but wow, is it way different than I remember it being. Um, one last thing, uh, you can actually connect online now and go into other people's homes, whether they're friends. So let's do that real fast. I just did it and helped a guy build uh, some sort of shelf. Uh, so of course I can host uh, or visit. I don't have any friends who play this game. Um, I have friends. I want to make that clear. Just none who play home improvisation. Uh, they don't play farming sim with me either. Uh, so if I go random, it'll take a little bit because they got to find someone. Okay, so I guess we won't be able to. Um, but it's kind of cool. Basically, it just says you just like go in and they'll be like when I went in, there's a little purple 
uh, like chevron triangle thing, and that was the guy build or you know building his thing, and then I was able to help, and I could have like went in and wrecked everything. I guess that's kind of the risk of hosting, is I could have went in and destroyed all his vases and everything, but I didn't, of course, because why why would I do that? Uh, so yeah, that is that does work. There's probably just not a lot of concurrent players at the moment, but. Yeah, this just came out yesterday, uh, fully released. I am looking forward to playing it today. Um, I might do another video on just building something for fun, uh, but I wanted to keep this video on just kind of what's new and improved. So that is a quick look, a very quick look, uh, at the final release, final version of Home Improvisation. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice day.